I've got a family member that's basically a mobile mechanic and this is what his setup looks like. Looks rough, but he's got the tools in there to fix anything after 1908. But today, we're replacing brakes and rotors on this 2015 F-150 XLT. If you're trying this at home, don't forget the jack stands. He's using a 21 millimeter deep socket to get these lugs off. Here, he's using a C-clamp to compress the caliper piston. This can be done after you remove the calipers, which we'll show later. Next, he's going to remove the caliper using a 13 millimeter wrench. You can double them up like this to get more leverage. Mine's a rubber made special. Once you get both bolts off the caliper, there will be a brake line attached to it. You do not want to let the line hold the weight of the caliper. Instead, use a bungee cord hey, to support to it. Like all the wires and stuff. Hey, on lines. Look. There ain't no brake pad, dude. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look at that. There already in there. That one there, the front one. Wasn't far behind. Next, he's gonna remove the caliper bracket, which has bolts that require a 21 millimeter socket. These are always a bit more challenging and will require a breaker bar and maybe even a pipe extension as shown here. Her husband started cheating with Nanny. <clears throat> Man. Before I get my persuader. <laughs> <laughs> I show you know what a persuader is. Never mind. The rest of the story. <laughs> right off, huh? And this is what it looks like once you get the rotor off. You can use a wire brush to remove some of that rust, which may help you out later. Your rotors will come with an anti-rust coating that needs to be removed prior to installation. If not removed, it can contaminate your brake pads and cause them to not work properly, which you do not want. To remove, wipe clean with brake parts cleaner, both on the front and the back. Boom. Boom. You can't have none. There we go. So I think these... Now, as we start to put stuff back together, here are the torque specs you may want to go by. However, as you'll see, he just tightens everything down about as tight as it'll go. It just turns 85. <laughs> you broke your uh, socket? Yeah. As you can tell, he was able to harness the power of a thousand twisted T's to pull this off. Yeah. 
Most people don't even use it. Oh, really? No. The Power Stop Evolution brakes and rotor kit does come with premium hardware, so he's now attaching that, which right isn't right always the easiest to get in. It's like the rest of your truck. <laughs> <laughs> it just snaps together. <laughs> yeah, <he's> some <laughs> This is disc brake quad, and you want to spray them on the back of the brakes, not on the pads. Do not spray on the pads. But what it does is it forms a water resistant, high temperature film that absorbs the noise and quietens the squeaks and squeals that normally come from brakes. Hey, now. Stuck. <laughs> he said, What are you talking about? She said, You got a ring on. She said, I don't mean I'm stuck. <laughs> So here, when trying to put the caliper back on, the pistons are still out too far. So now he's using the old pad and the C-clamp to compress the rest of the way in. Don't play it work to it. Now you know you get tail light warranty, right? You know what? Tail light warranty. <laughs> <laughs> when you don't see my tail lights no more when I leave, that's the one thing. <laughs> <laughs> <Hordy> is up. <laughs> <laughs> And that is the completion of the rotor brake installation on the driver's side. The other side's done exactly the same, which I will show. Uh, the back brakes and rotors will be coming up in a future video. But if you hung around this long, uh, please think about subscribing and hitting the like button. I'll have future videos uh, of work on this F-150 as well as the Nissan Hardbody and other stuff around the house. So, hope you enjoyed. So you change this freaking tire on the side of the road. <laughs> Why are you sticking out? Oh, well, I said, screw this. I went and bought one of those big ditch witches that, that digs out about a uh -huh. freaking house. <laughs> and you don't put all the pressure on the tire, stay tight and look at Great. Chair out there on the freaking patio. <laughs> yeah. Cut her deep. All the way. As far as you can turn. Get a quick turn. <laughs> I was like, uh, taste of some of that twisted tea. Ah. Is it good? Huh? Is it good?
<laughs> Unless there's like my car. A uh, friend of my car, I've only got some up, put on the back that way, ain't bouncing. But. I know where she lives now. Probably with the cops. And these are good brakes. You can see they're vented here. So the heat vents through these vents faster and makes the car stop better. <laughs> Oh, you had the infinity paid off before you ever. Or... What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Here's all set on that. Is it, is it a third bolt you're messing with back there? Huh? Is there three bolts back there you have to? No, that's it. I'm gonna break it. Oh, they're still in the bracket. Uh, no, two, it takes it, break it off. Oh, okay. So there are two on the caliper and two on the bracket? Yeah. <laughs> Change my mind on pulling up right there. In my ear. Don't know how he's not dead. Yeah, we got lucky. We got lucky. No breakage. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Really? Or name? I hope that you what? And I'm not going. What? I said no, I'm not going. What guys? I don't need I don't need any hugs. What's those uh what's these two holes right here for? If this gets stuck on there, you put a punch hole you in there. can uh Put boats in there and, and screw them in, and it hits the back side of your axle oh, push and pushes it off. <laughs> Looks like you need to brake shoes all the way around, dude. That's not where your vibration is crystallized. Okay. I think he took a pee. Man, he just hired, dude. I don't need him. <laughs> I let him go. He didn't kick it too deep. No, I'm just stepping on one. Huh? These are those old ones? Yeah, that's why I left one in. There we go. If you come down there and her lips are dyed red, you know why? <laughs> There, it gave it to me. Push pins. Somebody coming. Amy. 
It must be a St. Antoine. Everybody asks me how I remember where boats go. I'll say, well, you find a hole it to fit in and you stick it in it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop better. Can you over tighten those bolts? No. No, because I see they're just on that pin. Yeah. It slides in and out. As long as you don't beat the crap out of it and break it, you're good. Take about two months of all that to dry out, enough to burn it. Hey, how are you? A little bit more. Right there. <sighs> Just catch it like that. Find another thing like that. Go with it. Easier than the first one. <laughs> <laughs> little supervisor. Yeah.